Hey guys, I know it's been a while. I haven't been feeling great. Um, been busy. I'm still not feeling right now. I have food poisoning, but I wanted to record, so why not? Um, I'm also almost to a thousand subscribers, so thank you guys. If you guys have any suggestions for something to do when I hit a thousand, please write them in the comments. Uh, and yeah. So this is called In. Vetromen Spurush, I think. I don't know how to say it. I'm, I'm, I think it's German, but I'm not sure. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be obviously on a title, so you can see it for you guys, but I can't pronounce it properly. Only other words I can pronounce are in French and English is Serbian, so. <laughs> Um, this is written by La- Lady Poison, and the summary is, Midoriya finally had a friend. What could possibly possibly go wrong? This is a 1,561 word fic. It's a one shot, and yeah, let's get started. Izuka had finally made a friend in, in Hitoshi, someone who saw he was smart and didn't discount him for his quirklessness. After everything that had had happened before Yue, the bullying, the suicide baiting, and the All Might, he finally had something good. He started training on his own after, as he as he called it, the All Might incident. He put his analysis to good use. No one would let him into a gym due to liability issues, but he found a bench, a beach. No one went to and trained there. If he cleaned it up a bit, who was to know? On the first day of class, he was anxious. Risen might have them introduce himself before orientation with their name and interesting fact. He and one Shinzo Hitoshi did not say their quirks or lack thereof. Shinzo sat right behind him, which meant at orientation he sat right next to him. Shinzo was a very handsome guy, tall, lean, stoic. All the things Deku, all the things that a Deku like him ha- wasn't. He tried not to, but he may have muttered about quirks during a presentation when class was letting out Shinzo. When class was letting out, Shinzo con- cornered him. No law by quirks. You got a mental one? He inquired, probably harsher than ne- than needed. Izuku wondered if he'd been bullied for his quirk. N- no. He stuttered. Damn it. He thought he could at least get one word out without that. Hm. Well, how do you feel about villainous quirks? He looks pretty angry, like he expects the answer to make him angry. Izuku knows that most people would what most people would say. No such thing. How do you feel? And he's, and here he's pausing, hoping the le- his leap of fate is justified. How do you feel about quirkless? Shinzo looks shocked. I, he backed up just a tiny bit, and Izuku relaxed. There are people. His brain seems to have stopped working. I've never met anyone without a quirk that I know of. So I don't have any opinions on them. He finished. That is the start of their friendship. You don't really show it in class, as neither want any bullies to know their weaknesses. Yue is better uh, as there's. He was better as there is no uh, overt discrimination. Doesn't stop the whispers in ostracization. Teachers can't stop what they don't hear and can't force others to be friends. Izuku and Shinzo. Izuku and Hitoshi. He let him call Hito- He let. He lets him call him Hitoshi. Izuku is so happy to finally have a friend. Find out. Anyone, not just here, of course, can reserve the gym for free. So they do that every Tuesday and Thursday. They can be found there, sparring, working out, strategizing for the sport festival. On the other days of the week, they can be seen in the library keeping their minds sharp. 
The hair, the hair course must be harder than a standard, harder, the hair course must have harder standards than Jenna, they assume. It's three weeks before the sports festival, and I was always sleeping in the rafters, as they are rarely used gyms. It will get a lot it will get a lot more use once he announces the sport festival, but his class has to be has to do their USA training first. Too shortly into his nap, the door bangs open. A green child and a purple child he doesn't recognize walk in. The green one's talking a mile a minute about something. The purple one seems dead to the world as they start setting up. He sees them do stretches. He is impressed they they seem to get all the muscle groups. Until he hears Purple ask, Why? Green goes into a rant about muscle damage and never knowing what muscle you might use on a given day and a bunch of other statistics. Ah, green is the brain. Purple is just the gruts. Never having... uh, Never having stopped his stretching. Then the boy starts with some cardio, running laps around the gym, then awaits, then sparring. Their form is correct for most part. They're slow. Green is explaining concepts like muscle memory and pre- precision over speed. Purple chimes in with speed comes with time. It seems a mantra for them. He watches them for a whole three hours. They are there. They have potential. He, ha- he had one student no show, and another he is gathering evidence to expel. Contrary to popular belief, he can't just expel kids on a whim, no matter how much he threatens it. After they leave, he makes his way to Nezu's office. Turns out the boys, Midori and Shinzo, have been going to the gym twice a week since the first week of school. As it is only the third week, he is, in a, he is again impressed at their level of discipline and progress. Nezu approved of the offer to train the boat boys on his own time. He, return, he runs into Shinzo before school the next day and makes the offer. Shinzo promises to discuss it with Midoriya first. Izuku is sad that Hitoshi is going to have to cut down on library days and workout days due to stuff happening at home. They will study on Mondays and Fridays and still train on Thursdays. But Izuku is smart and he observes and observant. He sees a huge improvement in Hitoshi. When he asks, Hitoshi says that he's, he practices before bed and in the morning since he can't do it with Izuku as much. Izuku tries to take it at face value. It is now two days before the sport festival. It's a Tuesday and Izuku's tired. So tired, he goes on autopilot to their gym instead of his home. To, instead of home to practice like usual, he hears talking inside and decides to sneak in, see if he can get ideas from routines from those inside. What he sees stuns him. Hitoshi, his Hitoshi training with their idol, eraser head. He feels confused and betrayed and empty in a way he wasn't. He hasn't felt in a way, in a while. H- Hitoshi, he stutters out. Both startled and turn to look at him. What? Why didn't you tell me you were training with a racer head? He tries to hold back tears. Hitoshi turns red. The racer head twin- turns to look at the boy, face clouded with un, but unreadable. An eyebrow raises. Yes, please enlighten, enlighten the class. They wait a few agonizing minutes as Hitoshi stares at the floor. Tears run down Izuku's cheek. Midoriya. Izuku tears in his eyes. Izuku tears his uh, tears his eyes away from Hitoshi, who looks guilty. Why doesn't Why does he look guilty? Izuku hopes he is wrong, but unfortunately, thinks he might be right. He looks at a racer head. He sees kindness in Sarah Window's eyes. Midoriya, he repeats. I had seen the two of you training a few weeks ago and told Hitoshi the offer training you both. He told no Shinzo. He wasn't gonna call him anymore. He wasn't gonna call him that anymore. 
falls on his knees. He came back to me with an answer that you declined, as you did not want to get into her works and were, as he put it, just helping a friend out. I believed him, as I had no other reason to. Am I to assume he was incorrect? Shinzo, Izuku stares, which gets the boy on the floor to look up startled, told me about three weeks ago that he had to cut down on training and study due to home obligations. Razorhead looks down to the boy next to him, Izuku continues, specifically on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I came here today on autopilot. I came here today on autopilot. He looks at his friend. Why? Why would you lie to us? He too falls to his knees, bawling. Midoriya, Midoriya tears. I'm disappointing you, Shinzo. Shinzo's head whip up. He, no, he now has a few tears leaking from the corner of his eyes. My razor head walks over to Izuku. Would you like a hug, Midoriya? He can tell if he does not do something, Midoriya might have a panic attack. Izuku nods as he looks at Shinzo. He, s- he sees a look of betrayal. A racer hits down and, t- and takes the boy into his lap, rocking him gently, combing fingers through his hair. When Izuku calms down a bit, a racer asks again, Why Shinzo? Because he's quirkless. You can't be a hero without a quirk. He looks at the floor again as he breaks his best friend's heart. A razor head gives him a withering look. Discrimination has no place in heroics, as well as well you should know. He looks down at the crying boy in his arms. It's okay, you raise your head, sir. I've been told that all my life. Even all my think so. He hiccups loudly. I just didn't think I'd hear it from my first friend. As he tries to comfort Midoriya, they both hear the door open and close loudly. The look to see Shinzo is no longer there. He is torn between going after his protege and staying with Midoriya. You can tell both boys are hurting. He has Shinzo's number, and though he is disappointed, maybe he can talk more sense into the boy later. Right now, Midoriya's priority. He's worried about the... He's worried if this boy would survive until tomorrow if he left now. After about half an hour, Midoriya seems to pull himself together and start apologizing to Eraserhead, who tells him to call him Aizawa Sensei. They get up and stand there awkwardly for a moment before Aizawa asks if Midoriya could be up for an assessment to see where he is. Even though he's a bit emotionally com- compromised, Izuku takes him up on the offer. He'll deal with the whole Shin- Shinzo situation later. And the notes are, yes, the USJ happened differently. I also feel like the sport festival has a bit was a bit soon after school started, only about three weeks, it feels like. I just give it a bit more time. And that's the end of this. Let me see if there's... Yeah, and there's no series or anything to it. This is just a standalone one shot. Um, yeah, so... I usually don't like fix where um, Hitoshi is an asshole about like quirkless and stuff like that but at the same time I feel like especially in this fic it's more like oh he may be just misinformed or something but at the same time like he should know himself how discrimination is and how shitty it is so yeah anyway um this was a small fic I hope everyone here is doing alright. I'll be posting more soon because um, I'm going to be off from school for the next one, two, three, four, about six weeks since I have, uh, I'm having a surgery in January, um, so I'll have a lot of time to, re- to recover and record. So there's that. And then there's also the holiday break that I think I want to do maybe like a special uh, like for a few days before Christmas or something maybe like a countdown of like 12 days before Christmas but it's to be seen so just let me know what you guys think and start sorry about my stuttering and trying to fix up my words 
Uh, I hope you guys do all right, and I love you. Bye.